Hey, what's up? This is Sony Knows Best here. Back again now with the application for the iPhone that is pretty neat. It's called Dragon Dictation, and the name may sound a little bit familiar to you because this is one of the best speech to text um, translators or encoders or whatever it does um, out there. And I know it's definitely out there for the PC, it may be out there for the Mac. But anyway, they now have an application out for the iPhone. It works pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the application. And as soon as you launch it, it has a little record icon there, and you go ahead and start talking what you want to say. So let's go ahead and test it out and see how well it works. My name is Mark. All right, so we started off pretty simple right there. So again, it's, it got it right on cue. My name is Mark, so it recognized that pretty easily. Easily. Now, you can go ahead and start talking. You can keep talking. It keeps making paragraphs and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and say something else here and see if it gets it. I am soldier knows best. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, let's see if you got that. I am soldier knows best. Subscribe. Okay, so even got when I pause there, I put a little period at the end of best, and uh, it actually knows when you're when you're actually taking a break and probably want to start a new sentence. And let's say one more thing here. What should I say? I don't know. Watch me live every Wednesday. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on Ustream. Now, that was a pretty uh, complicated uh, sentence there. And let's see how well it got it. It says, watching the live every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 1 Ustream. So it did a, a, it did a decent job for it. Now, say if I want to actually correct something, this application allows you to go in and actually correct words and that it may have gotten wrong, just not heard right. So to say I want to go ahead and correct watching. Okay. Now you just click on that and let go and just highlight watching and then press the record button again. Watch me. And boom, it has fixed it. So it deleted the watching and actually um, chose watch me and I needed to fix anything else. But I'm going to leave it just the way it is now. So you can actually go through and correct. So if you're just you know, trying to say something real, real, something real quick and go back at a later point to correct it, you can do it. Also, you can pull up the little keyboard as well and actually start typing in things and fix things and, and add stuff in as well. And when you get done actually capturing all your speech, uh, you can go ahead and close the keyboard out and hit the little arrow button to the bottom right. And now you can send that message or just this paragraph or whatever you're writing to your mail to a instant message. Or you can save it to your clipboard and you can use it to copy and paste it and Google or whatever you want to do with it. So this is a pretty cool application right now. So that's basically how it works. It works very well for what it is. And I uh, can't wait to see more updates that bring more features for it. So it's called Dragon Dictation. Right now, it just came out today, the time of this video, and it is absolutely free. Now, I know they are going to change it to you having to pay for it in the future. So go cop that uh, application right now. But it's been Sony Knows Best here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Wait, wait, one second before I go ahead and end this video. Let me go ahead and address this issue because a lot of people are concerned about it. Even I was at the time. Now, this application does um, upload the contact names from your address book on your phone to their servers. And they say that because a lot of people want to um, always talk about their contacts or um, when they're using this application, use the voice to, to look up some of the contacts in there. So that's why they do it. So a lot of people were concerned that they were getting their numbers or their email addresses or any other important information. That is not the case. This application just uses the names, which is not that bad at all. So I know you're probably going to go download this application and you read the user reviews like I do. There's a lot of people saying don't use it, but it is safe. It is, it is in the EULA. And I, I'm pretty sure Apple would not approve the application if it did anything other than that. So I just want to throw that in there real quick before everybody goes over there and not download the application just because of that. It is safe to use. It just uses the names. And now back to the uh, ever so lovely ending here. Peace.